<laughs> How you holding up, man, with this whole quarantine safer at home kind of thing, man? Well, you know, I'm growing my beard out, as you can yeah. see, letting my grade show, you know what I mean? Showing we my man that. things, you know, we, we earned that. that out here. How does Keenan yeah. Thompson, the entertainer, how do you keep, how do you get entertained? 90 Day Fiance is like I go oh, through right now. It's man, better. I've been picking up. I just got on 90 Day Fiance. For oh some reason, God. man, I keep stopping on my 600 pound life and I keep stopping on hoarders. You know what I'm saying? Hoarders, and, man. Hoarders blows my mind. I guess it breaks my heart because a lot of it is usually stemmed through trauma. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it'd be just like, you want to laugh at them because they're arguing over, you know, a decomposed popsicle or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but. You know, some of it is like, you know, they, they, they got hurt, which is why they collect popsicle sticks. And what, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. <laughs> man. Oh, man, yeah. I probably laughed too hard on that. I, it, was, it was more sentimental when you said that. Because I, yeah, I was just about to say the same thing, man, how they're, they're sitting there and they're like, yeah, I'm ready to get rid of everything. Then like, I heard we want to throw this eraser away. Oh, not this eraser. No, 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 <laughs> not that, not that. <laughs> No, Hell no, no, yeah. Just put that to the side for now. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, what about this bag of worms? No, no, not, not, not that. Bag of worms. No, 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 no. Those are in my dad's casket when those, those are worms from the casket. We've seen a lot of great people come through that, bro. And mm -hmm. for you to be there for that many years and still be hot as fish grease, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, man, even when you just popped up on the screen, Ken, oh, I started laughing. You know what I'm saying? It's like I see you and I just I just start laughing, mm -hmm. bro, because there are classics. Now, for one, what's up with that? We do that in, in the studio, me and my producer all the time. And then we'll always go, you know how many buttons this suit got player? 50. Like the Steve Harvey stuff <laughs> that, that you do from from yeah. who wants to be to to you know uh to family feud. Has Steve Harvey ever hit you up about the impressions that you do on him? Oh yeah, I had to go do his show uh, like a year or two ago. I had to go to Chicago and sit down with him on his like daytime talk show. Yeah, and like that was our first time having to do it, you know, uh, in like a talk show format as opposed to just in person. You know what I'm saying? And me bumping into him at a restaurant or premiere or something because I, you know, been hearing back and forth that. He likes it, but he doesn't like it. He likes it, but he doesn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, you know, he takes himself very seriously. Cleveland, you know, it's not, it's not a game. His life is not a game. He's not to be made fun of like that. He makes people laugh, but he's right, not right. to be made fun of. And I get that, you know, that's just, you know, grown man mentality. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand that. So I had to go like sit down with him and explain. It's really coming out of flattery and like tell him like how much he really, you know, how much of the game he really like gave to me when we used to be on the Steve Harvey show and stuff like that. So it's really all out of admiration.